Hello beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel Make Pretty Things. I reached my first 100 subscriber milestone on the channel and I literally could not have done it without you guys so thank you very much. Happy New Year to everyone and your families. May 2023 bring you lots of joy, happiness, and wealth both physically and financially. Now let's get into the video. Does your oil and vinegar bottles do this on your countertop? If so, I made this with some simple ingredients to keep them neat and tidy in one little area. We're going to be using three easy materials, three paint sticks, four Dollar Tree Jenga blocks, and two pallets from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to start by measuring my oil and vinegar bottles on the pallets to see if all four of mine can fit. So if you guys have been following my videos, you know I am a huge fan of this gel super glue from the Dollar Tree. It is my go-to, so I'm going to use this and add some glue to the one side of this palette so I can stick it together. Don't use too much of the glue that it will ooze out, just enough. And hold them firmly together while they dry. I'm grabbing a paint stick and two Jenga blocks. These paint sticks fit perfectly across these two palettes so we don't have to worry about cutting it. The side of the paint stick with the writing is going on the inside so that you can't see it. Take your paint stick, the side with the writing, and add some gel glue on the tip. Then take a jingle block and stick that to the middle of the jingle block on the narrow side. Try to estimate it and do it by eye. Um, then you can take another jingle block and try to um, line it up on the edge to make sure that everything is lined up straight so for the other side I just took the new Django block and I lined it up with the other one that I stuck down I used a pencil to draw lines where the um, Django block meets the paint stick so it can be accurate and I just stuck it down Now we're going to stick this little fence that we made to our base with, you guessed it, gel super glue. Now we're going to be doing the same thing to the other side. If you're going to be painting this, which I'm probably going to be painting this at some point in the future, but I'm not going to paint it now because I kind of have this naked wood theme going on in my kitchen. But if you wanted, you could paint it. But for now, if it's going up against the wall, you can put the writing part to the back of it. But if it's going um, out in the open where the back would be showing, put the writing on the inside. So I'm taking my last paint stick and I'm just measuring how much of this paint stick I need to use to cover up both of the open sides of this. So I'm just using a pencil and I'm just going to mark where I need to cut. Well, I'm just taking these metal shears and starting the cut off. I should have had more appropriate tools for this, but I will get some in the future. I'm just using what I have on hand. So to finish off this cut, I just took a really sharp bread knife and I'm just going to keep on cutting through this wood until it becomes very thin so I can just snap it off. So 
so that there wouldn't be any rough edges, I just took some sandpaper and I sanded down the edges of this. Next, I'm going to take my super glue and add those to the edges. And attach the side. I'm just neatening this up with some sandpaper and this is a blank canvas you guys can stain this you can paint this and make it your own I actually use the wood burning technique that I have in uh, one of my previous videos I will link that um, somewhere on the screen so you guys can check it out how did I burn the saying into the wood thank you so much for watching my video I hope you guys enjoyed it I'll see you guys next time